Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race, Season 11, Episode 3! <gasps> oh, we're sipping that tea, girl. Oh, girl. Mm. It's a cold winter night and we both are feeling like we have a little bit of cold. Yeah, so, so we're just going to detox a little. Just going to detox a little, sip some tea. We're going to sip the tea, girl. There were some choices made. There were some choices that were made. <laughs> Everyone walks back into the workroom. Kahana, Kahana has gone home. Moana. And there's more talk of Ariel being an Instagram queen and not oh, having talent. Yeah. And I was like, I don't care. Nope, don't care. I don't care about this drama. It seems stupid. Yeah. There are a lot of the drama seems stupid. We'll talk about on time. I mean, I was enjoying it because it was madness. It was like madness. Rue walks into the workroom and this sort of tale that she would, picture this, oh, it's yeah. 1990. And I'm working the backstage door after a sold out concert by the super hot girl group, Seduction. Of the famous, famous girl group, Seduction. <laughs> Can you name any of their songs? <laughs> no, no one can. <laughs> Featuring Michelle Visage. I wonder whatever happened to her. Seduction with Michelle. M Michelle. With I sound like Michelle. 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 You sound like Valentina. Exactly. Michelle. Michelle Visage. Oh my God. With Michelle Visage. And um, the mini challenge Rue announces is that they have to try and talk their way in to this. Get through the stage door. Yeah. By any means necessary. Oh. Now see, that would have been really fun. Well, I think this mini challenge is fun in theory, uh -huh. um, but no one, uh, no one really was fantastic. No. Can I make a suggestion? Uh-huh. It would have been helpful if there had been a person at the door to interact with. Well, maybe like the pit crew should have been standing there guarding it. As bouncers. As bouncers. Yeah, and then it's in, like. In their yeah, in Christian underwear. Exactly, by any means necessary. It's like, oh, hey there, mister. Yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to get in to see my friend Michelle. You could do more than if there's someone to interact with when it was just like this weird. Well, it was Rue, but. Well, right, but, but like. It was just off camera. I mean, exactly. I like that Rue was just like, no. Mm -mm. You're all bad. Yeah. No. No. I don't, no. Mm -mm. You don't get in. I was hoping to get in to see Michelle Visage. Um, Is your name on the list? It was an opportunity to do a character, right? Sure. So Brooklyn comes in and she's gone full Canuck. Yes. Just, oh boy, you yeah. know. Oh, I'm, I'm here from Canada and I'm the best of it. Right. It's all girls hockey team. Um, but. <laughs> what was that accent? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> As a part of my women's hockey team, the Moose Knuckles. Hockey team, I don't know. <laughs> Jersey? Kind of. Hockey talk? Ka yeah. Hockey team? Yeah, Long Island hockey team. I don't know. Yeah. A. So she's doing this full Canadian, the all girls hockey team, but like her look didn't match that no. at all. Had mm -hmm. she been real butch? Sure. You know, whatever. At least it would have made more sense together. Right. But she was just like dressed in something pretty. And I know they only had like 15 minutes, but it just seemed weird. It was, I was unclear. I didn't know what the story was, and so I didn't really care. No. Who will end Mercedes? I mean, for her, I thought she did more than I thought she'd do. Mercedes. How do you spell that? It's M-E-R-C-K-E-S. I'm Morgadis, say, or something. She's no, like, her Mer name really. Weird. Mercedes. Morgadis. How, How do you spell, spell that? It? She spelled it all wrong or whatever. Well, she just spells Mercedes. It's M E R C K E S. No, but she spelled it wrong. No. It's M E R C K E S. I, um, I don't think she's gonna go very far in this competition. Oh my god, he's like Nostradamus. I thought Akira had a lot of sort of attitude yeah. and, and um, energy. If you're such a good friend of Michelle Visage, what's her middle name? You tell me her middle name since you know so much about her. Well, I'm, see, I'm all up in the party. You're the one you know, in the alley. The dough. She gets no recognition. No, she didn't. Which I thought was weird. I, I, was, I was like, oh, she seems to be the best. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought she really was doing like a pretty good job. Maybe she was close. Right. And Ariel was just sort of humping oh, that crate. And yeah. I didn't understand I, that. 
Yeah, I'm feeling it. Oh my god, this is just like tea and crimpets on Sundays. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of like stupid twerking, and I was like, I don't like this. Yeah. But I did love that Evie comes in. I'm here to have her sign my baby. Day five. I'm here to have Michelle sign my baby. <laughs> that really made me laugh. Sign it how? <laughs> oh god. I don't know. I don't know. That's a really long sharpie. <laughs> that is not where your cervix is. <laughs> Later it's announced that Raja wins and I hadn't written anything down. And then she won and I was like, oh what? I it was very confused. Right? Is that a rabbit coat? Yeah, yeah, it's my good my good friend. My good friend. <laughs> Access has been denied. What? And Nina West obviously had the a best yeah. character, the, you know, the, she was doing the most um, with these teeth. Yep. And then when she put on the glasses that had the teardrop, like, construction paper cut out, I was like, yes, this is correct. She's my mom. You're right, I've got the, patern the paternity test to, test to prove it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looked like a character from Wallace and Gromit or something. Yeah, that's kind of true. big teeth, yeah. just sort of cartoony. She definitely stayed in character, had a character, a full, like, yeah. you know, it had a story that she planned out or whatever. Yeah. It still wasn't, like, hilarious. Not at all. So I don't know how this challenge, I feel like this challenge could be fun. It, it could. It just wasn't. Yeah, agreed. We might say that about this whole episode, it turns out. Yeah. Yes. And then Silky just like shook her tits. And then and bust through the door. I, mean, I did like that. I did too. She was like, oh, well, come in? Okay, cool. Okay, fine. Then you told me to come in, so I did. All the thing I hear is come in, Silky. Oh, you told me to come in. I'm here, honey. So Raja and Nina win. They're going to be team captains for another acting challenge. Yeah. You're going to uh, pick a diva and worship her, you know, televangelist style or yeah. whatever. And I thought, like, it, like we said, I thought this challenge was a really good challenge. Some people succeeded and some people didn't try. I think this might be the biggest disaster of a team. Um, because they all collectively agreed that they were terrible, yes. But I think the Shakespeare one was actually worse. Oh my god, like... Like, when is this gonna be over? But the fact that they all collectively were like, we were awful, we, we all dropped the ball, yeah. you should kick us all off. I mean... Oh, if they had, oh, I, if they had. At a certain point... I would've been so good. I was just like, so just kick the whole team off. <laughs> Bye. It's a short season, you guys. Cut, we just, cut I mean, your production in half. They had 15 girls anyway. I was like, I don't care, get rid of six of them. There's only one or two that I really cared about. Yeah, it was like Save Plastique and Sugar, Scarlet, and I guess. I like Sugar, whatever, and I like Scarlet. So I mean, there was, that was the thing. At one hand, I was like, fuck it, I don't care. Mm. And on the other hand, I was like, well, but that's not as fun. To me, there were some clear bottoms. <laughs> I was like, I'm not sure that the choice of six people on stage was necessary. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll get into it. So everyone's picking teams and... So it turns out Silky and Ariel are on the same team, and right. so it like kind of brings up last week's drama. I don't hate her, but at the same time, I can't wait till she area her ass out the door. I can't wait for her to area her ass out this door, and I was like, like a cartwheel, like Ariel, oh. like Ariel her ass out this oh. door. I don't know if that's what she meant, but I liked it. Maybe if that was. I didn't get it. I like your interpretation. That was my interpretation. I was like, oh yeah, you're gonna just do a little cartwheel, Ariel. <laughs> I mean, it's spelled very differently, but that's okay. Well, she keeps pronouncing her name differently, so well, how am I supposed to keep track? Sure. Ariel. Ariel. I'm Ariel Versace. Ariel. 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 Well, I mean, and Silky just keeps pronouncing everything. No, but, like, but Ariel well, right. keeps pronouncing her name oh, differently Ariel, throughout Ariel, the I, episode, I and it I drives know. me crazy. It's yeah. your name. That, <laughs> I don't accidentally call myself Avril. Right. Like, that's not something I do. Right. What's that's happened? True. Andrew thinks that. <laughs> it's weird, right? <laughs> sometimes I pronounce my own name this way, and sometimes I do it this way. <laughs> that's not a thing. <laughs> it's weird. I just thought I should point it out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> They get to pick which diva they're going to worship. Maybe they cut some of the footage? There just was so many that no one mentioned. Well, it was so confusing. I guess maybe part of it was like, oh, they've already done that in previous seasons. Like, you know, oh, they already had a share challenge. Oh, who they cares? already had... Who cares? It's very different. You know, yeah. it's not like you're all coming out dressed like Madonna in a kimono. Ah, how good would that have been? That would have been actually hilarious. I don't think they had the kimonos, but... 
Someone has a kimono lying around the workroom. <gasps> that mm. would have been so funny. Yeah. Because I was, I was surprised there was no mention of Madonna, yeah. no mention of Cher, right. no mention of Bet, no, no mention of Gaga, Beyonce. No one mentioned Beyonce. Yeah. I was like, what? what? Happening. happening exactly here. It seemed like the only options were Whitney or Britney. Right? For all of them. And everyone was just, Whitney and Britney. Whitney, Whitney and Britney. Britney. Whitney and Britney. Well, I think a lot of them didn't understand the challenge. No one picked Judy? No one even mentioned Liza? What's happened? What's happened? Because, I mean, obviously you would go to the Church of Liza. <laughs> that would be your I mean, place, your house of worship, yeah. right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no one mentioned Celine? Sure. There was just so many. Oh my god. Celine Dion, the Celine. greatest singer in the world. Or Ariana Grande, like it just sure. Well, they very... mentioned Ariana Grande later. But yes, but, but it like, just seemed so bizarre to yeah, me. Yeah, they had a very limited selection of people to pick from. For maybe those were the only people they had pictures of for production set. I don't know. What? It was weird. What? Right? You know what would be really fabulous mm. if someone did Elizabeth Taylor <gasps> and they all came out in caftans. Yes. That's like the uniform of worship is you have to wear a caftan. Of but of course you must. <laughs> So Elizabeth Taylor counts as a diva? I mean, she's not like a musical diva. Right. I mean, she's certainly a diva, but... They didn't specify, really. That's true. They, I guess they had to sing in church, but like it wasn't one of their songs, so it didn't right. really have anything to do with it. It's true. I don't see why not. Barbara? Oh my god, yeah. There was just a bunch oh, of people left on I the mean, table. I would love to see Manila Lazan. Oh boy. In a Barbara yes. diva evangelical, yes. So Nina's team decides they're going to do Britney, yes. which I think was a good choice. Yeah, they said, it was great. They did a good job. There was, was stuff fun. to do. Yeah. Stuff to talk about. Yeah. And the other team is trying to decide. I don't know. I guess we could do Whitney or... And then someone was like, what about Mariah? Uh, I think Scarlett mentioned Dolly and everyone was yeah. like, no. But no one talked about Dolly either. I mean, that would have been great. Would have been great. You'd all have giant tits and, you know, Just big blonde hair. And... Huge tits. Everyone can do a country accent poorly. Yeah, be silly and fun. That southern comfort. I guess they didn't know. I mean, it didn't seem like their team knew anything about anyone, which anyone. was confusing. Okay, so we're gonna go with Mariah. We tried to settle on someone that we all know a little bit about. We are thinking collectively, we'll have enough knowledge on Mariah. At least if you have someone who can teach everyone. Like, you like know, one of the people on that team has to love a diva that they know about. Right. That they can then say, here, we could do all of these, these things, these things about so-and-so. Seems crazy. Well, I guess we could do Mariah. She's known for singing, she's known for whistle tones. Straight, long, middle part. Well, that's like visual well, facts, but I mean like actual facts. Yeah. Sure. Do you know, I, I mean, I know some stuff about her. What else is a Mariah song? Uh, Honey. Um, emotions. 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 Oh, my God. Emotions. Oh my God. Uh, Emotions. Honey. Someone I think says uh, honey finally. Butterflies. Like it was just like. <laughs> oh my god. I loved the emancipation of Mimi. She goes, what? Our Bible is the emancipation, it's, it's of, the emancipation of, Mimi. of Mimi. I don't know. That's one of our albums, girl. <laughs> What's that? That's her album, girl. Like <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. I mean, I do also love Mariah Carey. Did I tell you the story about my friend who thought that her album was called Charm Brasselet? It was French. What? <laughs> Love that. Right? She really classed it up. Yeah, Charm Brasselet. Mmm, the new Mariah Carey. The new Mariah, Mariah. Cotty album. <laughs> Aretha Franklin. Tina Turner? Tina Turner? There's so many! I mean, Aretha would be a really great one. Right? Ah, oh, she just died, although maybe she hadn't died then. I don't know when they filmed this in, yeah. in relation to that, yeah. but I mean, come on, it, it would have been great. Yeah, you could do. Or at least movie star slap, like, you know, ones that did it all. Yeah, well, I think it I would mean, be... I mean, Cher's won an Oscar, so, like, hello, but... I think it would personally be easier, obviously for me, because I know more about movies, but to do a diva that also did movies, because then you can reference all the movies as well. You mean, like, Sparkle? Like, Sparkle? <laughs> How come no one mentioned that? Why did... What? They seem to just be like, it's a wash. Like, yeah, it was, oh, yeah. It I... was terrible. We don't even have to <laughs> yeah. address or judge you. <laughs> because it's so clear. <laughs> We're just like, you guys totally bummed. I so love fucking Ross. My parting bit of advice to you. Bring it on the runway. When you, they kept saying sparkle and Ross was just going, he's like, at first he's like, what the fuck? Oh my God, sparkle. Oh my God. <laughs> Glitter. 
Which is funny because Sparkle is actually a movie. It's like a pseudo Supremes Diana Ross like biopic kind of thing before Dreamgirls. Mm. Weirdly enough, they actually did a remake of Sparkle with oh. Jordan Sparks oh. as the lead instead of Irene Cara <laughs> as the lead. So that was weird. I didn't see the new one. I've only seen the old one. I've never seen either one. I thought that was odd. Yeah, is it? Jordan Sparks starring Sparkle. Oh, sure. It just seemed so crazy that they just kept doubling down on Mariah. I mean, it was so clear they knew nothing. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, like, Rue comes in and is like, you guys know nothing. They took two minutes to be like, well, should we do something else? Yeah. No, I think we should just keep going. Like, you guys. No, change. Change. I, I wish that, where were the shady editors to play that? Like, whose fault was it? Scarlet's. So how comfortable are we really feeling with Mariah? I mean, I don't know. I think we just stick with That's what we right. have. I mean, Scarlet was the one that said, let's just stay with it. No, bitch. Well, it's Raja's. It's Raja's she's fault because she's the team leader. But, yikes. Rue came around to Nina's team and she's like, oh, so wait, like, let's talk about Silky like, again oh, with sure. it, big personality, blah, blah, blah. And you guys are fading away. And she basically just calls out Ariel and Brooklyn and Mercedes. And yeah. just, but then she like turned into Mickey Mouse. Oh my god! Oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh, yeah, she's she's she got kind of, she's spangled her leotard. And she was oh, like I, doing that voice. Rue was doing a lot. Like, oh, oh, oh my god! Are uh, uh, we gonna talk about this? Yeah, uh, you have such a personality. Yes, haha. It was weird. And you could get so overwhelmed by that. And I was like, what is happening, Rue? You are. I mean, I wasn't mad because it was weird. But... It was weird, and I was like, you're this is a little cray cray, little you know, a little crazy in the face. So, quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the live recordings. That was weird to me. There's where it was like no clearly audio. not live. It was like you just get one take, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. So we'll be right back with the performances and the runway and a lot to talk about. There's like a lot to talk about. So come back. Not that you're going anywhere. <laughs> oh no, you spilled the tea. Oh, I spilled the tea, honey. <laughs> so first up, team. This also didn't help that the good team went first, but oh yes. <laughs> first up, Nina's team, it's Britney, bitch. Yeah. Network, IBBN. And Nina and Brooklyn are the co-hosts. Yes. And I thought they were both great. And I really didn't think Brooklyn got enough credit for how good she was. I thought she was very good. Nina was obviously sure. better. But, like, they don't even mention it in right. the judging. They're not like, you really had a nice chemistry in a banter. I felt like a genie in a bottle. <laughs> and it was dirty. You didn't. But then Miss Britney Spears, her spirit has come in me and it has filled me up. Oh, that's filthy. I just thought she got totally overlooked and I, I thought agree. she did a really great job in this challenge. Mm -hmm. It was weird. But they start, they've got a lot of chemistry yeah. and they're both do it and they've got the Tammy Faye makeup oh, on. Yeah. Brooklyn's like crazy. She looked like, like Jinx Monsoon and whatever happened to Baby Jane. Like it was like <laughs> all the makeup with the red hair and they, I mean, they both had the Tammy Faye eyes yes, yeah. and it was just like really natural and fun to watch. It was. what you want. Exactly. Leave Britney alone, Foundation. Your offerings today will help supply frappuccinos, frothy and delicious. Also, car seats and safety belts. <laughs> well, this I thought you could really see the team leadership yes. here. And you could really see too that she knew what the challenge was supposed to reference. Yes. And I think that was the biggest thing. I don't think the other team really knew what the they, joke was. No. They didn't know what they were supposed to be emulating. No. And no one was there to lead them along the way and be like, no, 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 you guys, so it's like this. <laughs> this is the point. Right. I wish they had had to convert like Troy Sivan or something. Oh my god. Oh, that would have been so fun. Right? Oh, yeah. But this did give a new meaning to, can you save us, Britney Spears? <laughs> can we be saved? God, why is Satan controlling the universe? Here comes the top. Here comes the top. Can we save? the universe? I love it. Can we be saved by the church of Britney Spears? Love it. Love it. Oh my god, if they had referenced that Juliet Lewis Instagram video, Oh, I would have died. I would have died. Lost my mind. It's so mangy. She was really channeling Taraji P. Henson for me. Mm. Something about the hair flip and the attitude and all of it. She was just a huge personality. Oh, yeah. and, I mean, she was really going for it. Oh yeah. We taking it down to 2007. I'm attempting the Britney Spears. Oh, 
Oh, get this God. hair, baby. We're shaving her head or whatever. This was also good where, like, I mean, I hate to just constantly be like, well, the other team failed in every aspect and they didn't. But the other team didn't seem to understand that, like, it's supposed to worship the yes. diva, yes. not make fun of them. Oh, we'll get into it. But this was a good way of, like, kind of making light of it. You know, it's like, yes. oh, okay, she had a moment. You know, like, whatever. That was that era. Exactly. It was making light of it while also still keeping it clearly focused on we worship Britney. Exactly. Obviously, Mercedes was a mess. What is spirits? What's Britney? Where I'm from? We only have is spirits. What did Banshee say? And she's just like, we... Because even Beyonce and Kelly got to pull Michelle. So we did that. Like, yeah. oh, poor Michelle. Poor Michelle. If I gotta rephrase it, I will. Collectively, we slayed the child. Girl, you can't struggle in everything. You have to pick a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mercedes definitely got lucky this this episode. Yes, uh-huh. I mean, can you imagine if she was on the other team? Oh, God. They would've had another person <laughs> to not know anything about Mariah. Ugh. Thank you, Miss Fangie. I thank myself. Thank you, Miss Fangie. I just thank myself. Thank you, Miss Vanjie. Oh, I thank myself. <laughs> <laughs> she was just riding high. She really was. And then we get to the song. Yeah. And Ariel has a really nice voice. Yeah. Come to the lab, my friend. Cause oops, we did it again. Oh. Better than Silky's. You mean Ariel? Ugh. <sighs> Ariel. But they sounded nice together. Their song, they knew. Yeah. <laughs> they knew the words to the song uh -huh. they wrote. They um, didn't spend 40 minutes talking about other shit and then hardly get to the song and then horribly miss. I mean, yikes. Oh boy. So then Team Mariah, Team Raja. What was their network? Lambs? When you believe the church of Mariah Carrie. I, I don't remember. It was bad. It, everything about this was bad. It was the most cringy. I just was like, oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my god. <sighs> it was just highly confusing and unfocused. Uh huh. So it starts Scarlett and Sugar are the hosts. I thought Sugar did the best on the team of the team members. Yes. She was kind of had the like cadence of the of te televangelist thing go on, going on, you know? Sure. Scarlett wasn't giving her anything and they weren't connecting, but I thought uh, she probably did the best on that team. Sure. We will worship and pray Ooh, the emancipation of a me, darling. Can I get a it's funny, it's interesting because Scarlett and Evie seemingly had so much chemistry last week. Yeah. I wonder how much of that was just Evie. Well, I was... <laughs> or, or why yeah. there was so little between these two. Like what? I think Scarlett wrong? needs direction. Maybe. You know? Yeah. Yeah. She was a, yeah, that's she true. She was like a... A, a, a lost a, lamb. A little lost lamb. I mean, this team was lost lambs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Scarlett was doing some... I don't know, she was... She had like... Weird. I, I didn't know what she was doing. No. False. Whistle tones, honey. We are here in the name of Mariah. And the pace was just like you could see the wheels turning. Yep. And the like, oh, and I have to say more things. And uh, there was just so much like dead. And it time. was like, oh, and we're done. Oh, except there's still more time before well, then we cut. Well, she kept talking over, like Ross was like, okay, cut. And then she was like, I'm gonna do another take. Remember when she did that? Stick around. Stick around. Okay. Now don't you go making like an ex fiance You better stick around with us. Well, and then I think the main, well, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Not the main issue, but one of the problems was they kept shading Mariah. Yeah, exactly. And instead of worshiping her or or living for her mistakes, being like, yeah, right. that bitch doesn't give a shit. Like, she just she gets carried around stage. Like, why wasn't someone carry like, <laughs> like, oh, oh my God. There's a difference between like making fun of her for the New Year's Eve thing or the whatever, da, 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 all the things that have happened and being like, yes, that bitch. She was yes. like, I don't give a fuck. She's I'm gonna fuck this up. Fabulous. She's still fabulous. Like, there's a difference between those two things. Yeah. And that's the diva worship of like, she could do anything. We still love her. Exactly. With her. It's funny, there was on Twitter a Mariah fan group yeah. and they were like, Mariah literally released a song about cum. And it went to number one the first week it came out. And it's the video for Honey. And I don't think I've ever watched the video for Honey. Oh, is it just very explicit? No, it's hilarious where it's like, there's a bunch of dancing semen. 
She's on a jet ski spraying water, like foamy white water on people's face. Like it's hilarious. I was just I like, love this it. is amazing. And it came out like 15 years ago. It's like, yes, bitch, work. Yes, I mean that was the main problem. Oh like, yeah. Obviously they knew nothing about her, but also they were making fun of her. Yep. Instead of praising her. Now not everything has to be live, Miss Sugar, okay? That is true, honey. Especially vocal. You know, even if she doesn't deserve it. You still praise her well, because she, you're obsessed if, with this If diva. you don't think that she deserves it, then you shouldn't pick don't her as your diva, diva to worship. What's going on? So, oh boy. Well, then we get to the conversion. Oh, God. And Plastique is... I mean, she was... She did the most. Yep. Her look I liked. I thought sure. she had the big tits. She was giving me, like, Mariah. She was the most Mariah. Yes. Sure. Yes. No one had like the cut off jeans, like where the like the waistband was cut off. I mean, they would have had to pack those, and I don't think any of them even. They knew. have that. They packed their entire wardrobe. You yeah, make it work. But, but yeah, plastique. Her, I mean, her accent was all over the place. It was yep. like little baby girl. Yep. Fresh off the boat. Yep. Demon. Yeah. <laughs> Passed out in the sidewalk of an Ariana Grande. One last time fellowship. It was in and out, in and out. It's really weird. And I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I don't think she knew. I think it was that was like, the oh, problem. Like a weird voice. She was trying it, and you know, it was like, oh, Ariana Grande. I mean, <laughs> which it still made me laugh. Like, it was a funny, stupid thing. Like, and I like right. that Rue said it later. You know, right. it was like, oh, I think you mean Ariana Grande. <laughs> I just wish it had been clearer what the joke was. I think it was supposed to be like, she, she, she who shall not be named. Ariana Grande. Okay. Kind of like, oh, we don't stand Ariana Grande in this house. None of the things that she were saying. She should have said that. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it didn't make any sense. And then when Akira came out, and she was supposed to be a huge Ariana Grande fan, but like they were converting her, but like that didn't come across. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. The power Ariana Grande is you. The power Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Their interaction was bizarre. I don't know. It was really bad. This was probably the most cringeworthy, I think, for me. No. Of the, oh, well, the singing, the singing, the singing. I'm sorry. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> oh, this is when we get her calling glitter sparkle. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, oh, a, a, a quicker queen mm -hmm. would have heard a curious say sparkle and been like, are you talking about the Oscar award winning film Glitter? Really? Like would have right. been like, bitch, what are you talking about? But Plastique just goes, oh yes, Sparkle, the movie that we love. Oh, because she doesn't know anything. Because she doesn't it. know either. <laughs> like, Girl, we need to convert you because Glitter, not yeah. Sparkle, bitch. You like... She just picks up a cat out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't think It's they... been missing from the movie for decades. I'm leaving. I think that needs to go in the retro review list. Oh my god, it's such garbage. <laughs> oh, if someone had had the little like hat with the braids, the fly girl hat with like the zipped up crappy toppy thing. I mean, there were so there many, so many good looks. So many missed opportunities of like looks and references, and because they didn't know any of them. That's true. And it was just like this is so stupid. <laughs> it was so stupid. <laughs> they just used all the references that Rue gave them, <laughs> which weren't even that many. <laughs> Where was Mariah Balenciaga when we need her? Oh, oh would have been good. Mariah's successful. Mariah's successful. Why not Selena? Oh, if only Valentina was there. Oh, no one did Selena. No one even talked about Selena. That would have been great. Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul. J Lo. <laughs> yes. J Lo. That would have been great. Oh, you could give me some good waiting for tonight. Well, that was. Ooh. Oh, and then. Then, like, some Made in Manhattan, and, like, you could have done all oh, her movies, too. Sure, yes, yes, yes. But also, I was just thinking, because the Because the lip sync song. Yeah. Would it, would it... I was really waiting for them to have it be Mariah. Oh. And just be like, fuck Bitch. y'all, bitches. Fuck y'all. Oh, J-Lo would have been good. Yeah, J-Lo would have been great. She would have been fun to make fun of. But, like, in a loving send-up way, where it's just well, like... Like, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. She said so many phases, and, like, you could do Jenny from the block, you could do... All... Yes, that would be great. Everyone just got... Low cut oh, yeah. sweaters yeah. and big asses. Yeah. But, but no. anyway, then we oh get to God. the third act of this uh, tragedy. Tragedy. <laughs> this Greek tragedy. Oh, so God. Raja and Honey are gonna sing the song. I was so confused by this because Honey is like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm a singer and a lyricist, so this yeah. is gonna be my jam. Well, I jam. knew when she said that, I was like, oh no, they're in trouble. Yeah. Well, you're a singer, girl. 
Yeah. Red flag, red flag. Yeah, I mean, the editing was pretty bad this this week, where it was just like, Nina West was like, oh, I really need to, you know, blah, blah. It was like, I mean, I did love that she, she was basically like, I feel like I'm getting overshadowed and not shining. I'm going to shine this week. I did. I won. <laughs> but yeah, there was a lot of talking and not singing. Yeah. <laughs> now. This is her glitter, which she has boxed off this. And oh, hold on. Before we start the song, I have to now talk more about nonsense. About nonsense. It was so hard to follow. And I was like, what is going on? Why aren't they singing yet? What's happening? And then, well, I was glad. Well, then when they started singing, I was glad they didn't sing. Oh, boy. Oh. It was so God. bad. John. Ghost Teal is our hero. Oh, oh mother. Chante, you stay. It was like Garth and Cat. Like. You're gonna say the lyrics just a oh, second behind yeah, me because, because yeah, we're singing the yeah, same song like, and we're singing <laughs> the same song. And it was just like so terrible, but also their singing was terrible. Their singing was But they didn't know the words of because the, of the song that they wrote, apparently. Come along with me to the water ski. I mean, I did love that Ross was just like, oh. word of advice all of you need to bring it to the runway. Yeah. Like, Yikes. It's a problem. Well, and then, it, I mean, Shade, love it. Shade. Love it. I mean, truth, though. But everyone gets into the workroom the next day, and Sugar is nervous, yeah. obviously, but then... Oh, my God. Honey Davin, what was this? Some of my team is nervous, which kind of makes me nervous, because I thought I did, like, out-of-the-park job, or am I having, like, a milk moment? This delusion of... I don't even know. Right? Am I just having a milk moment? No, girl, you're worse. Honey says, I mean, I think I knocked it out of the park. I did great. I'm getting nervous because they're nervous. I was like, did you not hear when Ross was like, y'all sucked? Right? You should all prepare to right? bring it to the rest. Did she think that she just nailed it and that Raja fucked up the singing? I don't know. You know when you forgot the words. Oh, brother. Chante, you stay. Well, yeah, we're getting more sort of fun, like workroom stuff. Oh, I feel like this season, yeah, than in past, like they're showing us more little things. And Brooklyn and Banji's little oh, show this me. little dalliance. What? A? It's a dalliance. But it's dalliance. Dalliance. I said it. I said it like Moira Rosewood. <laughs> no, she'd say dalliance. Dalliance. Yeah. <laughs> their little kiss and they're hanging all over yeah. each other and everyone's sort of like. What's going on? We've never had a showman on Drag Race. Not like this. This is, you know, maybe like, oh, we kind of, hey, I kind of like you, like you, but not like. Not like, they oh, seem like, to like fully be flirting. Now. Yeah, like exactly. <laughs> they might be I dating. We say that. We've said that before. We're like, they might be dating now, but. Like after the fact, no one has ever had like a showman on the show. Like, no, that's we true. We fell in love on the show, right. and we were like dating now. That's true. It's like a thing that happens on other shows. That's true. Everyone's usually like, oh, I have a boyfriend or something. Right. Or they're too focused. Yeah. But anyway, hopefully that doesn't fuck either of them up. Sure. But it's so cute. Yeah, it is cute. Because, you know, I've never been to a church, so it was like a good idea, like, you know, You've never been to church? No. A I church or church in general? Church in general. She's a Muslim. So, this awkward conversation, oh, this really insensitively <sighs> awkward conversation yeah. about Mercedes and her religion and... Y'all go to mausoleum? No, mosque. Yeah, right. Ain't that like church, though? And then she gets so uncomfortable and it's just like, I have to go. Uh. How do y'all worship Allah? Who the hell's Allah? Come back here, girl. We're I gotta get ready, girl. I gotta get ready. Uh, Runs to the other side of the room. And this was tough because like, you could tell that clearly, obviously, her religion has yes. been a pain point for her. Yes. Because of America. <laughs> well, and I'm sure growing up being a Muslim drag queen right. gay man is not easy either. You no, know? but I guess... So I'm sure there's a lot of things wrapped up sure. in it. Sure, but on the same hand, I wish that we could see her... I want her to own it more yeah. and be really fabulous about it. I don't want to put any pressure on her, but it just would have been nice to have a little clarification or something. But I mean, right before you're getting ready, you know, I don't know. It's well, heavy. yeah, she's like, look, I gotta get ready, girl. And she had I mean, a heavy week last week yeah. with her stroke. Yep. She seems to be dealing with a lot. So I was just, and it was like, the whole conversation was weird and awkward. Oh, it was very poorly handled. Oh, and Evie <laughs> pink panthering herself. Oh my God, just fully naked. Oh, there's her dick. This is gonna get real. I... Just like, upper butt. Just like, ah, here's my dick. Dick's out. Ah. She was just the dick out, pink panther contortionist. It was just like... 
I love that then turns out Troy Sabat was behind the mirror. <laughs> I love to talk about it. I was like, that is creepy. I was like, uh, a little bit, a little bit. I mean, that must be like a, a staging area or something. But that means like, what else? What other famous judges were like watching them? That's creepy to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I weird. know you're being filmed, but like, you know who's. I don't know. It just somehow it was like weird. Yeah. So quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the runway category is fringe on the runway. Um. Fringe couture, fringe. No, it had a fun. Sorry, with the get fringe, your fringe on? on. Get your fringe on. Is that what it was? Get your fringe on. Get your fringe on. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Rue comes out, and this was perfectly Rue-ish and lovely. It was really. It was this beautiful emerald green, you know, gown, and it was just like really nice. Yeah. Uh, this was like a really good Rue look. Yes. And the guest judges are Guillermo Diaz, yeah. who I think I only, like he was, I looked up his filmography and he's mm -hmm. like in- Scandal. Well, I don't watch Scandal. I don't either. But he's in a bunch of stuff, but what I think I remember him from was Half-Baked. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, and fuck you, I'm out. Remember Half-Baked? Oh, yeah. But he seems great. Yeah, he seems really fun. He seems fabulous. Yeah. I loved his like gun holster made of ties. It seemed. Huh. I was into that. Yeah. It was like tie material. Huh. I liked it. Like silk ties? Like tweed. Mm. Tweedy kind of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think I noticed that. That's what it looked like. And I liked it. And then Troy Sivan. Oh my god. Who you're obsessed with. I don't know. You know, it was after seeing him in concert, I really just had a big crush on him. I mean, he's very cute. He's really cute. So category is... Fringe. Yeah, it turns out it's just fringe. Category is... Fringe. But I do like, get your fringe on. I love that. Get, get your, your fringe, fringe on. on. We need some Missy Elliott up in here. <gasps> Diva. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> there were so many interesting divas that were not picked. We've seen enough Mariah. Right. We've seen enough Britney, Britney. honestly. Yeah. I was pretty disappointed, but yeah. you know what are you going to do? They didn't even mention Christina Aguilera. <gasps> no. Well, they mentioned her in the skit. Sure. So, first on the runway is Honey Davenport yeah. in this funereal one hour photo. <laughs> I couldn't be afraid of looking. She was over. <laughs> You're gonna, on the drying rack. <laughs> it was interesting, you know, it wasn't boring, but. No, it was fine. So the next was Scarlet Envy. Um, and this was one of the more boring ones for me. Um, I thought it was in this, vein of boring ones, but it was probably the best of the boring ones. Sure. Whatever you want to say about that. Like, it looked expensive. Yeah. The fringe laid kind of in an interesting way when she held her arms mm -hmm. out. It was very, like, showgirl, gentlemen yep. prefer blondes. I kind of wish, because she had mentioned Dolly earlier, because it was giving me a little country. Oh, sure. Um, that she had just had huge fucking tits. Sure. That would have been fun. That would have been fun. Give it a little yeah, something. Like, I mean, I would have loved someone to just kind of do a real Dolly, like, fringe... Moment. Cowboy diamonds moment. Something. Yeah, big old tits. No Love one, it. I mean, this is kind of basic, but no one did like a flapper. No one, I don't know, there was a lot of yeah. sort of, well, I'll just put fringe on this thing I already have. Basically. Kind of. Kind of. But this, I thought was like fine. It was pretty and well put together and polished. Yep. It just wasn't a wow. So the next down the runway is Sugar Cane. Yeah. In this Apache sort of blanket coat that's fringe. I actually liked the pre. I like the, yes, I like the coat She's better. She's got her, you know, eyes blackened and that interesting kind of braid coming down with the top thing. She talks about her Apache heritage. I was like, that's rad. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this is different. This is cool. And then she took it off and I was like, oh, what's this messy thing that has crap all over it? There was a lot of shit on it. I mean, later, Michelle is calling out a Raja, like, you're just wearing a bodysuit with stuff on it and she was like well at least at least sugar like bothered hey. to put a bunch of shit all over it and i was like yeah but it looks bad but whatever yeah yeah i agree i wished her her tights were were a much different color than her face mm. and they were really white and so it threw the whole palette off because it was like so clearly these like shiny they weren't white but they were just much paler and right it just threw it off for me i also wish i liked her makeup i liked the you know but yeah. i wish that she had kind of um daryl hannah did up like blade runner style more yeah it, just a little bit more drag queeny like it wasn't draggy for me sure. i want you to take 
a traditional Take that thing idea and drag, and drag it, it up. Yeah. Give me some more cheekbones, like bright colors, I see or what you're saying. you know, just kind of make it more drag evolved yeah. from this idea rather exactly. than just like I took this traditional idea of makeup and yeah. But it was different and oh, yeah. memorable. Yes. But I did sort of, I was like, maybe just keep the coat on. Like, I kind of just liked it. I was, like, I, I was like, yeah, then just give him a little shoulder. Sure. Fully agree. So the next was Plastic Tiara. And I liked this. I thought this was pretty much just as safe as Scarlet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, she looked fishy as oh, fuck. Yes. Obviously. I mean, her Ariana Grande ponytail was cute. And this like sort of braided, beaded center part thing which yeah. was interesting. Yeah. So the next on the runway was Akira. I don't know what to think about her. Yeah. Because I'll be she... like, you're so boring, I forgot about you. What it... is this? Yeah. Yes. It's, it's crazy. It's true. It's true. I um I think she just needs to break out of her shell because it yeah. seems like there's a lot there. Well and some of her confessionals are fun. Exactly. Funny. I'm like, what's the oh, what this? Yeah, let's just bring it out more. I hope she if she can make it through to when there's fewer people, yes. I think she might be able to really let out her, like, you know, true colors shine through. Oh my god, that's sort of like Thailand inspired, like, fringe headdress. Yes. And then the column dress, it was just like dripping. Oh my god, gold, yes. Fringe all the way to the floor. Ugh. I was like, yes, yes. It was fabulous. Yes, it was so good. This headpiece reminded me of like an Asia O'Hara headpiece or something. Yeah, it was, it like, was very House of O'Hara. Yes. She's a damn important. Right. So I really loved this. And I mean, I love that Troy Sivan was just like, you're so gorgeous. This is so gorgeous. <gasps> this is everything. I'm obsessed with it. Right. It was so good. Yeah. So then next is Raja Di O'Hara. I kind of forgot what she was like wearing. I literally don't know. It's red fringe. Oh, she had the red fringe bodysuit. Yeah, it was just, that, this was just, just a, like a dance costume. Yep. Like going to the club, yep. knee high, thigh high red boots. She sort of sidewinder down the runway. It was very, um... Serpentine! 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 Shelly! Serpentine! But yeah, this was kind of just forgettable for me. Yeah, it really was. So I... then next on the runway is Nina West. Oh my gosh. In this glittering mop. Yeah. Thorgy Thor. Yep. I loved this! I thought it was really fun. So cute and fun and the way it just like yep. boop, 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 flip, But then it was around. not just like a mop. I mean, it was like a mop that got that you use to mop up a bunch of glue and glitter, you know? Yeah, you're just bopping up the strip club after, you know... I don't know, where else do they use body glitter a lot? Oh, I went a different way because it was sticky? Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> I just thought I was trying to make a place that would have glitter. Good, great, love it, much better, much better. <laughs> They're just mopping up Mariah Carey's acting career. <laughs> no, that sparkles, I thought. Sparkle, great. <laughs> I love this. I thought she was. She's always fun on the runway, even yes. when I don't like her look. She's bringing it. So but I like the look. This was great. This yes. was the best we've seen of her. Absolutely. The next was Brooklyn Heights. I liked this. It's yeah, like it was this cute. little like you know daisies and flower child. You know, yeah. beaded curtain kind of. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like exactly. Oh my god. You always get fucking tangled up in that shit. Always. I remember that was such a thing in like the late nineties. Yeah. Just go to Delia's and you know. Oh my God, those stupid go plastic the, the Delia's catalog and get some glow in the dark <gasps> yep. alien yep. themed beaded curtain put in your bedroom next to your beanbag chair. Yeah. Oh my God. And your lava lamp. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? Right, flower child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like 60s cute, you know, when she, yeah. she said, oh, it's like Coachella meets Woodstock. And I was like, yeah, yeah. it's cute. Yeah. I like the, you know, the shape of it kind of curved around. Yeah. It's like a little asymmetrical. And yeah, I like this. So the next on the runway is Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. In another red look, like we talked about last week, I mean, is it just going to be her power color? It may be. She's like, bitch, I'm bringing it. Yep. And it's red. Yeah. I mean, again, I'm not necessarily mad at it. Didn't love this outfit. That's the problem. Not necessarily mad at the no. the continuation of the red. If she can pull it off, love it. The direction of the fringe was interesting. It kind of crisscrossed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and gave her a little nice waist. She's got the Cher hair. I look like Cher and Valerie Bertinelli had a baby. <laughs> she had a little fringe on the shoes. That was cute. Yes. Like, there was a few details here that elevated it above boring. I agree. But it was still like... So then next is Evie Oddly, and I had the same reaction as Troy Sivan. <gasps> <laughs> she was so tall. So, oh yeah. I mean, her heels were, but yeah. like, it was like she became a creature. Well, she was a jellyfish. I mean, like she became <laughs> yeah. a creature, yeah. you know, with the stupid up 
umbrella with the eyeballs on it. I and love all just this. Paper mache. Yep. She looked like gay old Greg. No, <laughs> sure. <laughs> she also looked like she belonged in the nativity scene from Love Actually. There was a lobster. There was the more than one Jesus. lobster at the birth of Jesus. <laughs> Apparently there was a jellyfish too. No, but I, I thought this was so cheeky, fun, weird. It's yes. such a different take on fringe. Yes. It was great. It was dynamic. Yeah. I'm gonna remember it. Oh yeah. She was just so tall. I mean, there was something about it was very. Yes. Yeah. It was almost like mesmerizing. A, it was almost like a stilt walker. Yeah. You're like woo. Ooh, now like, that is she. Had oh shit. I. E. Winters. <gasps> did, oh man. Oh Could shit. Could you imagine? Can you imagine? That would have been amazing. Yeah. Probably a safety hazard. I guess. I slipped on my like, Oh my god, yeah. Ah! <laughs> I pulled the pheromone. Ah! <laughs> Next down the right way was Iman Diamond. Yeah. I'm gonna just say it yeah. that way. Uh, oh no. Oh, this was. Uh, I didn't like this. It was. It was. Hmm, I didn't like it. <laughs> it's like neon green. Sort of. I, I didn't like this. I didn't. This she had Argentine, this, like, Argentine yeah, hat with yeah, like the fringe, fringe that was in her face. This really felt like the I'm, fringe was an afterthought. Yeah, it's like I gotta add some fringe oh, to this shit. shit. I'll just put some really ugly neon green. Ugh. I didn't like. I didn't care. It was like if Raiden and like the Toxic Avenger sort of like combined into some. I, it was. I didn't like this. No, you know would be really fun though. Mm. I would love to see someone green screen this. There'd just be like strings like, missing. Weird. <laughs> You're like weird. No, I didn't like this. <laughs> no. It looked like a weird lampshade, you know, on her head. I, yeah. It was covering her face. I do like the idea of like doing a lampshade, like like doing the Christmas story lamp mm. as your look. Oh my God, how fabulous would that be? Ooh, yeah. You're just legs in like the lamp. Yes, love and that. And it's fringe. Yes. Oh, that would have been great. That'd be really cool. And you could be like, oh, I'm fragile on the side or something. <laughs> just right on your leg or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe you would have a big box that says fragile and you bust out of it like Trinity's body bag. Love it. And then you're like, yeah. do you have to like hop down the runway? Because you're technically a leg. A leg? Just like, yeah. Either way, I want to see Evie yeah. Oddly try and do this. Oh yeah, or she, someone. I mean, because she would. Sure. So then next was Ariel Versace. Versace, excuse me, I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. I'm not mad at you, I'm just <laughs> mad, mad at, at the, the dirt. dirt. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at the dirt. This really popped on the runway, mm -hmm. like all of these sort of lures, you know, these yeah. Yeah. sort of... Yeah. It, it's... It, was like visually like, oh, that's really bright. Like it, it popped. Sure. Didn't like the boots with it. I mean, it really looked like she was peacocking us. You know, it was just like, oh. Sure, you know, like sure. Like, oh, she was a, a, a laser pointer and we were the cat, you know. I guess she just kind of looked like a Hanukkah decoration to me. I like, don't know. I'm not saying I really liked it. I'm just saying it really was visually striking somehow. Like it really caught your eye. Sure. It was like a lure. Well, right. Literally. I mean, she literally said that. I know, and it, that was successful. Sure. But, you know, I, I don't remember what the shape was or anything. No, not really. I just, I found this to be boring, and I found those lures to look kind of cheap, because they just looked like I she... didn't say it looked expensive. Ugh. I just said it was very... I grabbed Alluring. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay, fair. So then last on the runway was Dr. Silky Ganache, MD. May I call you Silky? No, doctor. doctor. <laughs> um, this was... Uh, this was pretty boring for me. You know, it was just like a big blue sack dress that was covered in fringe. Yeah, yeah it has like these big seams on the side. Well, I was like, what's going on here? Obviously, this is some sort of weird reveal. It turns out I was right. Oh, God, yes. We'll get into it. But I didn't know what the fuck this was. To, this was so confused. Shoes didn't match. Why did she draw a blue squiggle on her face? The wig wasn't big enough. Right. Like it was just like, what is this? <laughs> the blue squiggle really baffled me. I feel like she, like last week when she was like, oh, I'll paint my oh, face yeah. white. Oh no, I fucked oh, that up. Like I yeah. feel like she just doesn't know what she's doing. Like she doesn't have a plan. Like it's so clear to me that you don't know what you're trying to tell me. Yes. With your look. That's very true. So I'm like less engaged with this. That's very true. So another quick commercial break and then we'll be back with, oh my God. <laughs> With so much, so just much, so much to talk so much about. So pop culture. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack, so we can get ready. 
Yeah. <laughs> Instead of like Ariel Versace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need Ariel to be more Alexis from Schitt's mm, Creek. Yes. And less, I don't know, Kristen Cavallari or some Sh someone yes. from that show. Absolutely. <laughs> A hundred percent that. Yeah. Give me more dinosaur, like, um... Oh, like, so what's going on here, we, David? Yeah. Oh, I mean... It's more, like a witch's yeah. house in here, David! <laughs> Ew! Ew. It needs to be endearing. Yes. So, so Nina wins. Yeah. Obviously. Saw that coming. The whole team is safe. And, oh, so we get to the judging. I mean, this was... <laughs> asking the whole team, oh... Who, who who fucked it up? What yeah. do we, you know, who do you blame? Whatever. I mean, I can appreciate that nobody was like throwing it, throwing anyone under the bus, whatever. But, but at, at the, the same, same time, time, I'm like, maybe you really should have. I was waiting for Rue to be like, I don't want to hear any goddamn excuses. Be prepared. Fuck this. I asked you a question. Answer, answer it. the question. Yeah. Um, and I was surprised that Raja, there was no real mention of obviously you're the team leader and you fucked this up. I was so like, confused was by that. No mention of no it. No mention of it. So bizarre. So they all are like, I don't know, we all suck. And then Plasti. I don't know that you had like a real love for Mariah. I only found out about pop, pop culture about like three years ago. <laughs> found out about. What does that mean? Well, that, my thing is like, pop, I mean, I know what she was saying, but like pop culture is not American. Sure. Pop culture is popular culture, wherever you are. Sure. So it was bizarre to me. I'm just, I've, I, I just recently became I acquainted just, with the idea of popular culture. I was just born. Did they not know Mariah in Vietnam? No, girl. I came over when I was um, 11, but I found out about Beyonce legit four years ago. There's a difference between, like, I don't know that much about Beyonce. You know, like, I'm not a Beyonce official. Sure. I know some things about Beyonce. Like, I'm aware of her existence. It just seemed like a, she was saying well, it in a weird way. But and again, maybe that would be true if she, it was like, oh, I grew up in Vietnam and I didn't, but like, you came here when you were 11. So, you know. To be fair, I think she's only like 20, but. But whatever, but, but, but either so, way, even if she was 18, right. that's seven years that you've lived in America. Right. At the height of all of these people. Like, Mariah Carey is in the news. <laughs> Hear about her. If you're a drag queen, like if you knew enough right? to like know about RuPaul's Drag Race, to know about drag, to know how like, yeah. then how do you not know about any of these this people? This was just so funny. Have you heard about this thing called music? <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. They don't bring up the whole glitter or sparkle thing, no. which I thought was a real missed opportunity. Well, and I mean, I think that's interesting too. Like I would have actually liked some judging on this challenge yeah. because in the reality of it, I think that while on one hand I was like, fuck them all, send them all to the bottom, or yeah. send them all home, or whatever. On the other hand, Raja was a horrible leader. A horrible leader. Her look was bad. Yes. On the runway, or boring on the runway. And she did a, and she was bad in a the really bad job in the challenge. So she, to me, clearly was in the bottom yes. too. And then you could look and see like, okay, well you, you... I probably just would have put her and Honey down there. Yeah, probably, because they really fucked up the musical challenge. Yeah. And maybe it would have been the same... Result? I don't know. She wouldn't have had to fall off the stage. Did she fall? Is she gonna jump from there? <laughs> you could tell that Rue was just like, nope. And you're gone. Her face. <laughs> this just sort of displeased. Yeah. No, I don't like that. No. <laughs> whole team says, well, we all fucked up. Yeah. Collectively. Yeah. So the whole team has to lip sync. And I thought, at first I thought, oh, are they going to do like pairs? Yeah. It would have been, oh my god, this was such a fucking clusterfuck. It was, I was cackling. I mean, because it was awful and a mess, but yeah. also hilarious and entertaining. <laughs> yeah. And like, so demeaning. So demeaning. That's what I liked. That's what, I mean, sadly, that is what I liked about this. But I was just like, Rue Ru basically pulled a, uh, Olivia Coleman at the end of The Favorite. No, you'll go down on me now. Yeah. Like, she was just like, no. You get on your knees and you shake your hair around for me with six other girls doing the same thing. And let's just pretend like anyone. I mean, looking at the judges' faces, it was like... Oh, God, it was such a fucking mess! <laughs> such a disaster! I was just like, oh my God, he really... When there's three people lip sync. Oh my God! I mean, it was nonsense. This was like a non lip sync. It was nonsense. <laughs> So stupid! They split screen split and screen. Pan, and they pan in both of the split screens. So it's like we gotta get all of it. Oh no! And the 
this one, and that one. I don't know, she's doing something. Maybe. Scarlet changed her wig into a worse wig. Okay, great. Uh, ah! Plastique spent most of her time on the floor. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Akira was trying not to tangle her headpiece. Okay, great. Sugar sort of stood in the back. Oh. And Honey, I don't know, jumped off the... Fell, jumped, I, was pushed. I don't know. Off the stage. I guess she was just like, well, there's not enough space had, on this goddamn stage. I, I wish have... somebody had been like... <laughs> I would have been good. Rue is not pleased. No, well, it's just like, I mean, I get it on one hand well, where... It seemed it's, desperate. It weird. seems so desperate. It wasn't like I did the splits off the stage. No. or so, It looked like she fell. I had to rewind it. She did, in <laughs> fact, jump. But I, lo I was like, oh, no! What happened? Did someone push her? I don't know if this is true, but I saw on Instagram someone was like, oh, they had to like bring in a structural engineer to like make sure the stage wasn't going to collapse with under all, six? all of the six people lived together. Like, I mean, if they could all stand on it, they could all they, probably... I, they've all 15 it. of them can stand on it, it's I probably think. Probably fine, yeah. so that might not have been true, but I was like... That's stupid. That's silly yeah. to think about. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they death okay. drop all at the same time. Yeah, okay, if everyone does a death drop. I love drop, that physics problem. Like, oh, boy. <laughs> right? Physics. It's like the, it's like, um, it's like the finale of season one of Silicon Valley. Okay, now if he's jerking off. And yeah, exactly. Like, okay, the math of yeah, yeah. carry the one. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Really for tonight. Uh, like, I mean, I, this song really would have benefited from having an entire stage to work with. Yeah. And so that was the biggest bummer of it for me. Was I know. Just, it was it like, probably well, would have been waste. a great lip sync yeah. between Honey and Raja. I think so. So it's like, on one hand, I mean, gag. I laughed. Because it was. Oh my god. Silly. Yeah. But on the other hand, I would have loved to actually have seen two people listening to the song. 100%. I mean, I would have been fine with both of them going home, too. Oh, yeah. In double, all honesty. Double, at least double elimination. If you got six people in the bottom, at least yeah, a double Yeah, come on! But no, Honey goes, <laughs> when she fell off that stage, I mean, I was like, <gasps> Jumped. Jumped. Pushed. <laughs> we'll never know. I love it. There's always someone younger and hungrier. There's always five people younger oh my and God. that are oh my also God. dual lip syncing with you oh. behind you. And it was such a mess. It really truly like, was. Like who? I, I I think they just thought, oh, it'll be a gag. Not like, right. oh, it'll be good. Right. I honestly thought they were going to do like a countdown, like a lip sync off. Yeah, why not? And like, okay, the pairs of people in the challenge, like Trigger and sure. Scarlett, you know? Yes, oh yes. And then whoever wins, then they have to battle against, maybe then find you do a three-way lip sync at the end. I guess. All Mariah Carey songs. This is your punishment. So this week on Untucked, girl. Girl. Oh boy. Oh my. So the winning team goes back. They're all safe, and yeah. I thought, oh, this will be boring because yep. uh, they're all safe and, and they, they won. Did and great. They, yeah, yeah. It will be fabulous. Oh. Oh, oh, boy, no. oh boy, was I wrong? Oh my god. This was wacky. This was my moment. This was so. It's simultaneously fake and obviously stupid, but also very entertaining. Yep. I, I was born and raised in the church, and it was a little conflicting to me as someone that who is a believer to, like, for a moment, say, like, Britney's our God. Mainly because of Evie, though. Because Silky's doing this whole oh my clearly gosh. planned... I was ready to lip sync! I was well, we're, not even, we're not even there yet. <laughs> sure. We're not even sure. there yet. So they all go back. Silky is... I guess clearly mad about something, or I don't know. Like yeah. they're all sort of like, "Girl, what's up?" I think honestly, when it boils down to it, you didn't give your all right at the beginning. Like you were hesitant in the beginning, not because it was about God, but because it was not about Whitney. It was a whole thing that was very confusing because then, like two minutes later in the confessional, she's like, "I think I can speak for my goddamn self." Did you hear that? Don't that mean I can speak for my goddamn self? Right after being like, oh, this is, offends me as a religious person, blah, blah, in the confessional goes like, girls are putting my words in my mouth. I can speak for my goddamn self. Oh, right, but like she literally said it. Don't that mean I can speak for my goddamn self? She was saying, I'm religious, and it right. was offensive to me right. that and, we were treating Well, sure. And then she used the word, the phrase goddamn. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love that it's just oh. so natural to you that you're like, who like, cares? What are you talking about? Who gives a shit? I thought you were saying, I can speak for myself was no, what you were talking about. No, no. She did the fact that she, she took the Lord's name in vain. She's being so hypocritical like, yeah, yeah. being like, <laughs> I'm super religious. God damn. Yeah. Mm. Don't like, worship false gods, but saying God damn is fine. Like, who cares? But whatever. I mean, who cares? Let's, like, come Let's on. Let's not take ourselves this seriously. But that was the thing, was that it was all bullshit. I feel okay. very attacked. Oh, oh my oh. God. 
And that's what the other totally girls were calling around on. It was like, oh, but you were okay with doing it for Whitney? Right, I mean, because <laughs> they were like, you're just mad because you didn't get to do Whitney, girl. Like, just be honest, that's what's happening. No, it's because of this, blah, blah, you know, all this thing. Because Whitney was a woman of God, oh, so right. it would have been okay. I would have been like, we were praising. Is worshiping. Britney Spears not a woman of God? I feel like she probably is. Right, she's from the South. Just because Whitney started a preacher's wife, they didn't even mention Crossroads. No. <gasps> I'm just really laughing at how long it took you to I, figure out that goddamn I, thing. I did not get it. That really made me laugh. <laughs> and then Evie just straight up calls her out and is like, yeah. just be honest, it's because you wanted to do Whitney and you don't like you don't like Britney and you were being kind of an asshole about it. And then we see that oh, right. unseen footage. I'm not a Britney fan at all. Why not? She just doesn't float my boat. As an entertainer, there's a million bitches that are wear a wig and do Britney, so. Wow. Yes. Of her totally shading Britney. Remember, she's just like, I don't like Britney at all. I'm not a fan. Blah, sure. blah, blah. I mean, sure. which is fine, but like, why are you? Why are you doing this? Like, I don't know. Well, yeah, that's... How does this benefit you at all? And sort of, sort of shading Nina, like, well, like being like, oh, well, we didn't all decide this, and like, well, even though Nina had clearly like gone Archer, through Archer. exactly. Is everyone okay with this? Yeah. And it seems like so he wasn't getting enough attention, and she wanted some attention. I guess. I guess. That was pretty much the bottom line. Sure. I was motherfucking ready. I was ready to do so. What does I have to do with anything, bitch? When Silky like does her big reveal, it's like, oh I was ready to lip sync and like does her tear away and, and it was, what does that have to do with any of this? What does I have to do with anything, bitch? What? That was What's my favorite happening? part about it. Bitch, what? Well, and then Nina just being like, why are we yelling? Exactly. Why are we yelling? What's happening? <laughs> because we won. Nina's giving me really good gift. Yes. Like, just all of her like, Mm -mm. What? No. <laughs> what? She's giving a lot. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Well, and I love that when Evie was getting kind of heated or whatever, she kind of was like gathering oh, her. Yes. She was like this Erica Badu fantasy <laughs> that she was gathering this pink paper mache, you know, it was like. <laughs> I was into it. I liked yeah, it a lot. Yeah. What does that have to do with anything, bitch? I would love a gif of her just be like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I love it. Like, that's useful. Yes. And Nina's changed into her sort of like Midwest mom wig. Oh, yes. For reasons. <laughs> Unknown. Just, I mean, I guess she was just like, well, I need a wig under this headpiece. Because she and... took the headpiece off and had no wig. Oh. Then put this wig on. She's so like, I don't want to be an untouched She's like, wig. I got to look good for untucked. Yeah, I love it. So when people are gifting me, I can. <laughs> yeah, this way. Why are we yelling? <laughs> Why are we yelling? <laughs> it's a fair question. I don't know what we're yelling about! Well, and then Nina's impression of Miss Vanjie. Hey! Hey, bitch! You better do you me better do snatch me snatch game. Game. Oh, oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Vanjie! Oh, I really do hope that she does Miss Vanjie for oh Snatch God, Game. That would be so good. Because she nailed it. But, like, also I'm excited to see who else she might do. Though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she could probably do it. It seems like she's probably pretty good at impressions. <gasps> I am excited. Excited for her snatch game. She what better she fucking make Piggy it. Piggy or Bet or somebody <gasps> amazing. Yes. Oh, she could finally give us Bet. She could totally give us Bet. I would love that. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, what yes. if she did it as Winifred? <laughs> Be mostly nails. I put oh, a spell oh, on you. Oh, we have the teeth. But then the bottom team comes back and they're just like, oh, fuck. And we see, like, that Rue was like, all of you should be prepared to lip sync. Yes. Yeah, yes, so that's when they, because, like, they were shook. Shook. I mean, I don't blame them. They said we should all prepare to lip sync for our lives. What? But then Troy Sivan comes back. And yeah. It's so cute. So cute. Hey, girl. Oh my god, 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 Troy. Oh, I love that Plastique like freaked out over it. Like she knows who Troye Sivan is. Oh, right? That's... She knows about that pop culture. Yeah, that pop culture. Beyonce seems like such a no fucking oh my brainer. God. The beehive, yeah. where people already worship her like, like crazy. Yeah. Like people are Queen already B. like. Yeah, she's like the deity, of her. course. It, it it's so like obvious. Really, really obvious. Yeah. And get all our single ladies out. Because, like, you know, like, like you could do so many different things. Well, because like, while I think you should definitely not do Beyonce for Snatch Game. No. Right? Yeah. This is the perfect. Perfect place to do. Yep. Weird. 
really weird. This is so good. This trash? <laughs> this trash. <laughs> this trash, really? <laughs> yes, yeah. that trash, yes. And this is when we find out that he was looking at her through the- Oh my God, yeah, right. So what you're saying is when I get my phone back, I can give you my number? Please. <laughs> and everyone is just so thirsty for him and it was like super funny and cute. And then Guillermo Diaz comes back. Yeah. He just seems really fun. He seems really cool. <laughs> Oh, you want to be my baby dad? Yeah, let's do it right here. Come on. Let's turn around. But Silky immediately assaults him. Um, oh, God, yeah. Stop humping the guest judges. Drag is not a context word. And it's funny that they like, come back there, you yeah. know? Hey, yeah. I want to go say hi. Has, like, every celebrity been looking at their dicks? That's, I, it was a real, you know, behind the curtain Wizard of Oz moment for me. And I was like, I don't know if I'm okay with this. I mean, I, I guess at least, like, typically they're not, like, dick out in the workroom. Typically. But, um, it's still weird that it's like, oh, and then Troy Svon was observing them as they got ready to do their makeup. I mean, it's probably, like, the green room. Yeah. Or something. It just, and then, but, like, why put the two-way mirror there? Just so that they could do that all-stars, It like, just felt weird. I don't know. It just felt weird. Yeah. But then, uh, anyway, they leave. Honey gets kicked off, mm -hmm. collapses to the floor. Yeah. I mean, I, I fell for her, but that PA was very uncomfortable. <laughs> I mean, I think she could have gone further. Yes. It just, the, that's not the way the cookie crumbled, I guess. But cheers, we'll see you next Thursday or Wednesday for Patreon subscribers. We really yes. appreciate your guys' Truly. support. Get us to 4,000. It really? takes a lot to make these, so we appreciate every ounce. Dollar. Yeah, every, every dollar. dollar. Every honestly. dollar. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. Oh, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. What does I have to do with anything, bitch? <laughs>